Hi everybody! Today I want to share with you something which I love doing. It's the sign that it's the beginning of the gardening season. It's sowing seeds. I'm going to show you the very simple thing to do actually, just putting a seed into soil. Um, but actually the end result is that you get beautiful flowers and you get free food. What's not to like? So what do you need in order to sow some seeds? It really isn't complicated. You need something to hold the soil. I've got some pots here that I saved from last year. The important thing is that you wash them. Or you can use yogurt pots, food containers. And I also, I just saved old food packaging trays to hold everything for the drainage. Because what's absolutely key, if you are gonna reuse things like yogurt pots to plant your seeds in, you've gotta punch some holes in the bottom for drainage. So drainage is key. And also what's key is the type of soil that you use. You don't wanna just buy a bag of, of soil from your garden center or use soil from your garden. You need soil that's specifically for planting seeds. Why? Because it's a lighter mix. It's a light mix that allows the roots, when they first come out from the seed, when the seed first germinates and it produces roots, it allows those roots to easily move through the soil and establish themselves. Okay, so let's get going. I have here, wow, well, after this week, I think I'm gonna plant a whole lot of seeds. I plan on planting aubergine, courgette, tomato, cucumbers. The squash I'll wait a little bit because they've got bigger seeds and they tend to germinate more quickly. But I found the peppers and aubergine, tomatoes, they take a little bit longer. So it's late February. It's a beautiful day. Fantastic to be out in the garden. So I'm going to get going. And what I could recommend if you're just starting out gardening is to plant some cherry tomatoes. They're super easy to grow. You can grow them on a balcony in a pot and they're great fun for kids. Kids will just pick off those little cherry tomatoes, pop them in their mouth. So it's a really fun kind of food, fun way to get kids into vegetables. What I'm going to plant now are my favorite beef tomatoes. They're big, juicy, meaty tomatoes, super sweet and fantastic in salads. So I'm going to take one of my pots, scoop in some soil. All right. Level it out. The rule of thumb when planting seeds is the larger the seed, the deeper it goes. Tomato seeds are really small though. So I'm just gonna sprinkle and be generous, you know, because not every seed is gonna germinate. I'm gonna sprinkle some seeds on top, sprinkle some soil over that, to gently cover them because they really don't need to be that deep. And instead of watering with a watering can, I don't wanna have like a strong flow of water. I don't wanna dis um, displace the seeds and disturb them. So I just use a, a spray can. So you just wanna make sure you regularly water them, put them on a windowsill somewhere where they're gonna get some sun. And very soon you will see that they germinate and pop up. And there's that whole anticipation of waiting for them to arrive. Now, what's also useful, especially when you're planting a whole array of seeds, is to label them so you know what you've got in each pot. I just use popsicle sticks. I saved them over from the summer before. So that's tomato. And I put the date on as well. Gives you an idea of how long something has taken to germinate and to grow. So there we go. There's my tomato plant. Now the question you may have is, well, when do I plant this out? So with vegetable seedlings, they don't like frost. They don't like it super cold. So you have to wait until the last risk of frost has passed. Here in France, my neighbors taught me about this, this uh, tradition of not planting your vegetables out until after what they call the ice saint days have passed. So these are saint days um, that they call the ice saints, the saint glace. So this is traditionally when there's a possibility of still having a frost. And it's around the 10th, 11th of May. So I will be planting out these tomatoes for another three months, more or less. But when I do, it's gonna be another exciting moment and I'll definitely share it with you. And then come end of summer, beginning of autumn, I'll be able to harvest those tomatoes. And I tell you, there is nothing better than a tomato that you have picked and eaten within 15 minutes of picking. There's nothing you can get in a supermarket or your organic, um, you know, uh, fruit store that will equal the taste of your own tomato grown at home. So that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And come follow me next week when I'll have another video. I think next week's gonna be about mulching the Christmas tree. All right, see you then.